Hey guys, it's me, Zell, and here we are back with another episode of The Bad Batch. Episode 5 today, The Return. I'm assuming The Return of Omega. We left off with a tearjerker of the reunion of Omega to Wrecker and Hunter. And not only that, but Crosshair. But they left uh, kind of speechless and looking angry. <laughs> With crosshairs um showing up so i'm anticipating a lot of mixed feelings as i'm sure we all know why so anyways i don't have much more to say than that um because i'm antsy to see what this episode has in store so let's get to it look at her cash clothes look who's away Oh, I can't I believe think... it. Better than ever. Or are they on the island then? Greetings, <laughs> Omega. Oh, the pups with him. He's trying to get his. Chip and Liana found you then. Their ability to do so is uncanny. You need to talk to Hunter. I'm not um. hiding. I'm training. <laughs> I'm sure Izzy could look at your hand for you. I'm fine. Being a sniper is more than just looking through a scope. It's about patience. Reading the environment. And knowing when you've got eyes on you. Mm. They don't trust me. He's been through a lot, guys. Come on. Not sure it was a good idea to give Crosshair back his rifle. Omega trusts him. That's good enough for me. Oh, Wrecker. Sweet. It's Who's Ethan. this? Oh. Perfect. <laughs> Is Rex gonna Glad be there? To see you back safe. What? Now hug for me. <laughs> <laughs> really? Depends how good your intel is. Emery. She works for Hemlock. She's a clone. Like us. Like me. And what about you? Anything else to add? I was a prisoner. Not much to Encryption tell. Encryption will be a problem. Especially without tech. Uh, why? Crosshair, Echo, and I will go to this remote facility. Rekka and Omega? You stay here. We're finally together and you want to split us up? We just got you back. I am not going to risk you getting captured again. Omega's, Omega's proving yeah, we that escaped, she can... But I left all those clones behind. I need to do this, Hunter. He's only worried about you. Look at I them. Know. Now they're having pep talks. You think I should stay behind too? You're capable, but you are still a kid. I'm older than you are, uh, little uh, brother. <laughs> I don't know if this will fit still, but, uh, here. Oh, his armor. Yeah, it never felt right to get rid of it. Wrecker, that's so sweet. Okay, so she is going. He's not happy about it. Hey. Where's Crosshair? Hey, it does fit. Oh, yay. <laughs> Aww. Oh, he remembers. You said this outpost was remote. Not sure. What are the sensors for? Perimeter detection against local raiders. You didn't think to warn us about these raiders before. Now, they were all dealt with. And how do you know that? Take a guess. If you're scared, why don't you wait on the ship? Hey, kill each other later. We're here for a reason. Getting Let's crack into the data pad and get out of here. He started it. <sighs> I'm liking Crosshair back in the group. Oh, hey. There you go. I love it. It's so, so cute. So why'd the Empire abandon this place? I guess it served its purpose. Hmm. 
Sounds familiar. <laughs> He's remembering all these memories now. Maybe the sensors were keeping something away. Oh no, their ship. Start talking, Crosshair. What did you do to finally get on the Empire's bad side? Betray them? Like you did with us? Tell me what changed. What happened, Crosshair? Why you gotta get so physical with him? I think he was trying. I killed an Imperial officer. So yes, I did betray them. After they betrayed me. I tried to warn you, Hunter. I risked everything to send you that message. You ignored it. You let Omega be taken to Tantus. She went through what she did because you failed. Ooh. You're angry because she escaped with my help, not yours. <laughs> Move! creature beyond the sensors before they reboot or we'll be trapped inside the perimeter with that thing mm -hmm. I'll handle it not alone we'll do it together yeah what do they think they're gonna do they need to do that uh-oh worm cavern Bro. why why is there always a huge monster right <laughs> His aiming. Oh. I think I just made it angrier. Boom! Power's online! Hunter, should I activate the beacon? Wait, we have to make sure the worm is past the perimeter. Oh, I see, I see. Is it just the high sensing and sensor that first ears? That's so cute. Do you help each other? I mean, if Thatcher trusts him, you know. Dogs know. <laughs> That's all they needed. The man nod. Unspoken agreement. Aww. Aww. See? They always work it out. And I don't even see any blood this time. <laughs> That's progress. You only love me when I give you cookies. Hunter. Oh, he's gonna say something. I... I thought I knew what I was getting into. I thought I was being a good soldier. Nobody really understood what was happening back then. I've made mistakes. I have regrets to keep it. trying to be better. And who knows? There just might be hope for us yet. Hmm.
Yay! Well, what a fun episode. It was much lower stakes and uh, less stressful or emotional as the other episodes, but you kind of need a break between all the um, intensity. So yeah, a, an episode we needed to, you know, I'm glad they showed on screen and not rushed, you know, Hunter and Crosshair working it out how they needed, you know? It could have easily happened behind the scenes. It could have easily then been like, oh yeah, welcome back. It makes sense for people like Wrecker or even Echo, you know, Echo is less, you know, with the group a little less. Wrecker is a little bit more uh, an easy to forgive type of person. And Hunter is an overanalyzer or analyzer. And he had some words and he knows Crosshair really well. And they've been stabbed in the back before and disappointed and he didn't want to easily do that again. <laughs> But um, the group's back together. They got some important intel. We saw a monster. As Wrecker says, why is there always big monsters? And I'm liking this growth with Crosshair. You know, this was a character that made a lot of choices that, you know, they were, the, I guess, in his mind, like he said, doing what a good soldier should, doing the best of what he thought. He learned some lessons, some hard lessons, but he came back when it was important. He stood up for something when it was important, killed an Imperial officer. Because like he said, he felt betrayed. He saw other of his soldiers working for them, being neglected, being abused, killed or whatnot, you know. And he he's like, am I just needlessly doing this without thinking? And then he paid the price. But yeah, it's um really good. Uh in a you know, an interesting twist twitch about his his handshake somebody that was so precise and keen on his craft going through that direct struggle for something that is a big part of his identity so he's going through not just the identity change with from imperial to essentially rebel back to his family but also losing his craft losing another of his skills or not so much losing it obviously but wielding it differently having to relearn it in a certain way but he's clearly still bringing it clearly still doing what is necessary and knowing the mindset of the role he played with checking the perimeter and all that and having eyes so uh yeah but guys thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it um just like i did you know this is episode five we have a few more left and it's i think it's gonna keep building from here we might get another slow episode the next episode but i feel like the last two will be climactic so yeah guys thanks again if you want to show support for the channel not just me but my editor son the sons of sun is his name um don't forget to like the video and then subscribe if you want to support the editor a little bit more who really majorly plays a part in having these videos even be up if again if he would not be the editor of these these would not be put out into the world as they are so you can click the little link he has if you want to show some support there but uh yeah i'll leave it at that thanks again 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 and i'll see you on the next one